MPC sampling and beat making with Flavor Pro and the Mini D plugin. Also utilizing the MPC plugins. It's your brother, brother OTG. I got my Roland J6 chord sequencer, my trusty new favorite accessory in my studio, and we got the MPC One. We got the new Flavor Pro plugin, the Mini D plugin. And we're in standalone. You know, we're not attached to no computer. We stand alone. And we're going to check out these new plugins and make this beat that you hear in the background today. So tap in. What's going on, guys? It's your brother. Brother OTG, the OTG's for overtime grind. Hardly seen, but I'm always around. And today, I'm in the MPC-1 standalone. I got my Roland J6 chord sequencer right here. And today, I'm going to utilize one of my kits, marble rims. One of my kits I transferred over to the MPC. You can get that from down in the description. Get your free drum kit. If you got no drums, you got a skinny MPC, go grab that stuff. All in the description. $7 master class. $7 everything. $7 everything. So go check it out. Find you something to fatten up that MPC. Uh, we're going to utilize... The MPC plugins, I'm going to sample uh, a loop and we're going to utilize the Flavor Pro, the Mini D, and we're just going to one sync with something and make a beat real simple today. You know, I'm not here to win a Grammy, it's Beat Builder TV. We're here to test out the functionality and put some work in, you know what I mean? Get our daily beats done and get our understanding and of how to technically be better utilizing our MPC. We're going to get all that practice in today. So just tap in. You can see already. You can see already we hop right in. You know, we're going track for track our drums today. I'm going to start with the drum, not the melody. Today we're going to start with the drum, not the melody. I started with a two-bar loop. We're going to send it to a four-bar loop. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. I got the stage piano loaded up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell if you want the notifications. And if you want just direct lessons, you want just MPC information, just reason information, whatever it is, go support by checking out the uh, the master classes. And every time I upload a video, you can get an email straight to you and you can download it and use it however you, you see fit. So right now we're on pattern 58. We're just going to utilize a, a simple chord progression to get the beat started. And then the goal is to throw Flavor Pro on there. I'm just going to use a preset. I'm not going to dig too deep. You know, that's for you to do. For me to do is to show you how simple it is to get started inside of your MPC and really start making something that you can nod your head to and you can get a feel for. And we got that in there. You see, we got an issue with our notes. We're going to go into notes mode. And what we're going to do is just go grab our notes. And then what I'm going to do is change my, um, change to 132nd notes. So that way my grid is smaller. And then when I hit edit end, I can just move the notes on the 32nd notes, the end of them. That's one of the secrets that I've learned. If you don't want to have to go through and, and really do some things, just change the value at your note repeat. And then what, all you have to do is just select and move the end notes. What happens sometimes is one of the notes plays over and it stops the chords from actually playing. So what you could do is just go edit the end and then you're in a good place. Now you got something basic 
and you can get it popping. So now I'm going to throw on this Flavor Pro. I'm just going to use a preset. I'm not going to go too far in depth. You know, not yet. I showed you guys how to create it. Now, if you can't afford it, you could go check out the video. All you need is a Flavor Pro, maybe um, some EQ settings, some the Flavor plugin, maybe a couple EQ settings, a Tremelo, some of the stuff they have in here, and you can recreate it pretty simply. You know, I think I was spot on and didn't have access to it at the time when I made it. So I think you could pretty much do it for all you guys who don't have it. You can hear the sound, and from that sound, you can emulate it with your other plugins. So now I'm going to go grab one of the Cymatics loops. Um, you know, some loops I've had for about three years now. I use them in a bunch of different ways. I just go chop them down. So right now what I'm doing is listening, looking for one that sounds like it's going to fit to what we're going to do. And then I'm just going to chop it into uh, 16. And we're going to find some, find some chops and make it work. So I'm going to hit chop. I'm going to switch it to regions. And then I'm just going to export it out by hitting shift and convert, turn it to a drum program, switch over to that program, and we want to find something worth playing. Now that I got my sample laid out and what I want to do, we're just going to throw another Flavor Pro on there. I'm going to turn it down, and then we're going to grab another Flavor Pro, and we're just going to use a preset, toss it on there, and utilize it. So we have a Flavor Pro on our piano, which is just a simple chord. Then we're going to throw the Flavor Pro on our uh, sample that we have. Right now, I'm just turning some basic knobs, changing the distortion, and, and kind of messing with the vinyl and the volume a little bit, the digital. <clears throat> we're going to turn it down a little bit more, and then we're just going to keep it moving. So we're going to go to track five. You know, might go ahead and start to build these drums out a little bit more. You know, get a good feel for that, get us some percussion and different things going. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. Make sure you hit that bell, notification bell. Check out the other videos. You know, all of these videos have a bunch of jam-packed tips in it. You know, there's a bunch of different people who will tell you, you know, what you need to buy to make the process easier so the beats get made for you. My goal is to show you how to turn on what you got and make beats with what you got right there. You know, so... Hopefully you find some value in this. I'm appreciative for all the people who call me, all the people who hit the phone number 856-879-9118. Text OTG helps if you need help. Shout out to all the students. Shout out to everybody on Reddit. Shout out to everybody on Facebook. Shout out to everybody on IG. Shout out to everybody on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on all social media at Brother OTG, at Brother OTG. You can tap in with me, and <clears throat> that's about it. Make sure you hop into, always go to your program edit. A lot of you guys who got live too, don't ever utilize that program edit screen, and it shows, it shows. You need to hop into program edit and go in there and do some editing of your samples, get everything together you know do some game staging and get things right you know um from there you can really mangle and chop and get everything together 
you can do your volume there you can change your pitch there everything you need is really in the program edit for your drum programs so definitely 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 check out my video on the program edit screen um you can get this drum kit it's in the 45 expansions 45 expansions right now it's on sale for 777 that's 15 gigabytes worth of sounds for seven dollars you can't beat it all right you can get the mpc master class for seven dollars um and we're starting to work on the patreon where you can get some of these beat files and download some of this stuff open it up in your mpc and have these loops and things of that nature so as the channel grows, make sure you support it. Make sure you check it out. Shout out to uh, Braveheart Studios on the MPC and the plugins. You know, we appreciate you guys. Shout out to my guy, Jamie, for the J6. Shout out to the whole community for supporting, donating, and learning how to get better with these MPCs and not be inspectors not be just a bunch of guys sitting on the internet all day reading forums and going uh, uh, from forum to forum group to group looking for excuses for why you can't make beats I notice there's a lot of people who got excuses for why they can't make a beat you know oh I don't have this I need that I need to learn this I need to learn that you need to stop making excuses and make some beats bro where I'm from, don't nobody care about all the equipment and everything you've got. None of that matters when the fans are trying to listen to the music. So there has to be some music produced in order for an artist to rap. And it has to be a uh, 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 mechanically sound built in a way where they can utilize it to actually come on and make a song to it. So that's where I come in to help you with that, you know, the better the market is, the better the price is for all of us. So, producers, produce. Right now, we're going to use the tube synth, the rich swell. We're going to add that in just to give us some vibes, give us some body. I think we got that. I think we're going to load in this mini D, the mini D plug-in. I actually, you know, I think it's super dope to have this mini D inside of your MPC standalone. Again, I'm a standalone warrior. I have detached from the computer as much as possible because everybody has the same stuff on the computer and all the beats sound the same. When I show up, and when we, we play music, I want my music to stand out immediately. Therefore, part of what I utilize, I want to make some tools and make some music and make some sounds that are uniquely mine and aren't easily recreated. So part of that is just starting and standalone. And, you know, by the time it gets famous and somebody wants to recreate it, we already famous and they'll be spending their time to make it in the computer when we already created it from scratch. So that's the goal, that's what I'm trying to do. You know, we utilize some presets, we throw a bunch of different effects on there, and we get it popping. So right now we got the mini D lead, and that's just the retro lead. So that's the first lead that pops up with the mini D, the first sound. So you can hear the fullness of the sound and see how this kind of works together and how it comes together and creates such a, a good feel. I think I might load a bass line, throw a bass in there, probably be a little bit off beat, but just give a little bit of a feel. Not off beat, but um, off key just a little bit, just a little bit, just so it can fit in the frequency for the video and still have a nice feel to it. Um, you know, there's that's a little trick that I've learned 
you know, you could make it depending what the application of the beat is. You can kind of squeeze in some things that you normally wouldn't do. You could possibly make those things work. The bass trick works a lot. It provides a different feel to a beat. It provides some movement to a beat. And it just comes in on off notes to, uh, uh, like I said, provide some direction and fill. tracks you know i tell you all the time i do it last just to make sure whatever i'm going to utilize i'm going to utilize i don't name it as i go because some tracks might end up empty some tracks might end up muted the whole entire time and i can label them and name them as such when i'm doing that the key is to when you get to your last track put it on solo and then click your pencil on track and just name it as you go back so for example track seven doesn't have anything on it i'm going to let it play through one time there's nothing there we're going to skip it so now when i go to the rest of my tracks i know i never have to worry about track seven and if i wanted to go in and add something i have track seven open to come in and play and build on top of whatever I'm about to arrange through the pad mutes. So with that, you know, let's name this piano. We're utilizing Stage Piano, Flavor Pro plugin, a sample, a mini D, and a bass line, and the big balling kit from Marble Rims um, expansion. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. Check out the master class. All kinds of classes, all kinds of sounds, all kinds of free stuff. You know, there it is. If you want to donate, all the information's in the description. Um, and the best way to support, if you don't want to support monetarily, is just to leave a like or to subscribe. But if you subscribe, make sure you watch the videos still. So we're going to utilize the beginning that we want. We're going to get that figured out. You know, how how I want it to come in, I think that's good enough. And then we're going to let that play. And from there, we're going to hit record. And we're going to do our trap mutes. So I'm going to do this. We're going to bring the drums in. Since it's a little slower, we'll just do that. Now, <clears throat> one of the tips of recording the sequences in, because there is a bug on the list edit, is to make sure you turn off your record before it loops, and then you can always come in and overdub your mutes in different parts, and it should play in for the most part. The biggest trick of it all is not to let it loop while it's recording because if it loops while it's recording meaning it hits 32 bars in this specific uh, uh beat and then comes back around to the one it'll mess up everything that you have recorded in and it becomes a pain to try to go in there and edit it and list edit akaya that's something that you guys need to fix hopefully in a bug fix it'll be taken care of later Maybe you could just hit shift undo twice and erase all of your automation that you drew on the mutes. That would be great as well. So hopefully now we got this lined out. You know, we're getting towards the end. I'm going to show you and we're going to let it play. And we finished our beat for today. My final synopsis is I like the mini D plugin. 
I like the Flavor Pro. I mean, I guess it's cool just to grab and slap something on there. Um, I kind of like making it myself because I like having the access to different parameters and different things. But because I utilize my SP404, I kind of just like having the effect and being able to stat that effect and sample some things into my SP404 that way or run a sample and resample it and do some work that way. But when it comes to the Flavor Pro plugin, you know, pull the trigger if you like it. I feel like having all the stuff in standalone is great, but at the same time, you could build it. The Mini D plugin is amazing. I do feel like the more sounds that you could have inside of your MPC that aren't one shots, these MPC plugins that are built for it, I think the better you'll be in the long run and it creates longevity. So this is it. It's the brother, brother OTG. OTG's for overtime grind. We out of here.